One of the key factors to ranking high on Google is to get more websites to link to you. But how do you get these links and how do you get them efficiently and quickly? Hey everyone, I'm Neil Patel and today I'm gonna teach you how to build backlinks fast. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to this channel and if you're on YouTube, click the alert notification. Now I want you to go to the neilpatel.com homepage. And when you go there, scroll all the way to the bottom and click on tools. And when you click on tools, you'll see an option for backlinks checker. And I want you to click on that. And then I want you to type in your domain. My domain is neilpatel.com. So I'm gonna type that in and then click search. Now keep in mind, if your website hasn't been up that long, you may have little to no backlinks and no data here. And I'll show you what to do in a bit if that's the case. But first off, let's go through the process assuming you do have people linking to you. You'll see an overview of your domain authority, your backlinks, referring domains, organic traffic, links over time, new and lost links, anchor text, distribution right here. That's what words people are using in the links and the domain authority of the sites linking to you. Are they high, low, how many of them there are? And of course, a list, a laundry list, technically, of all the pages linking to you, and you can just keep going and going, and there'll be tons of lists, links. As here, you can see here, there's over 3.3 million. But what's beautiful about this is this new and lost backlink chart. It'll show you all the people on a daily basis that are linking to you and that are not linking to you anymore. Lost referral domains are anyone who is not linking to you anymore. New referral domains are anyone who is linking to you now, but they weren't linking to you before. Now the green ones are good. You don't have to worry about that for your website. The red ones though, they're bad. Why did someone remove the link? So I'm gonna click here, there's 79 lost. And I'm gonna then click on lost. And what you'll find out is some of these will be good, like good sites that you've lost a link from. And some of them will be spammy, like junk sites. So as you can see here, you know, this one is localist. I should probably reach out to them. New.top seems a little spammy. Andy Core, well, the anchor text, the text that they use was plant today. Website's not really about plants, so I should probably, you know, ignore that one. But this Coco Lies, that one used to link to Ubersuggest, which is this tool, but they removed it. I should probably reach out to them and update them on how Ubersuggest has changed. I've added all these features. And then I can keep going, right? This one looks a little spammy, um, but, you know, maybe it is a good site. I should just check it out manually. Uh, and it linked to Ubersess, but not anymore. Here's another one, Brazilian one. They linked to Ubersess, but not anymore. Uh, startup website in India, how affiliate marketing works. They removed that one. And I should reach out to literally all these websites. So you would want to click the arrow right here to go to each of these sites. You know, and like, let's say this one, they removed the link to Ubersuggest. And this one is online jobs, working from home. And they talked about affiliate marketing and they removed my link. Here's another one. Uh, this was their main blog. They linked to Ubersuggest, they removed it. Here's another one, Portuguese website. Here's an article on SEO. And they removed the link to Ubersuggest. And I should probably reach out to them and try to get them to add a link again back to Uber Suggest. And what you'll want to do is just send out an email to them. And if you're like, hey, Neil, I don't know how to find their email. We'll just go to hunter.io and hunter.io, you can put in the URL for any site and they'll start telling you the email address. So I'm going to end up putting the URL for this website here. And as you can see, they have some email addresses from this website. And if you sign up for free, you can get 25 free searches and you'll wanna email them. So maybe this name here is Bryce. 
So let's say it's Bryce at CocoLies.com and say, hey, Bryce, I noticed that you removed a link to Ubersuggest from this URL, and the URL will be from their main blog page. Um, I just had a question on why, and no, you know, if you don't want to link to Ubersuggest, that's fine, but you used to. Here's some cool new features we release with Ubersuggest that'll help your users, but we'll love it if you could add the link back, or if you're not interested and you don't want to link to Ubersuggest anymore, curious to learn why, um, cheers, Neil. And that's it. And either some people will ignore your email or they'll tell you why they don't want to link to you and maybe you can take that feedback and fix it and then get them to add a link back or they'll add a link back. And just doing this process will help you get a lot of links. The other thing I want you to do, and let's go back to Uber Suggest and let's go back to the backlinks here because we're on the new and lost link. I can do this also with my competition. So remember I said, if you don't really have any new or lost links because you haven't really built any, you would want to put in your competitor names. So let's say I put in Moz, M-O-Z, and I can see how many links they have as well as new and lost on a daily basis. Now I can do this same thing with Moz, and I more so, instead of want to looking at their lost links, I want to more so look at their new links right? The new link shows you how many new people are linking to them on a regular basis. The lost links will show them how many people or how many links they've lost. So this is all the new links. This is the lost links. And the lost shows them how many people remove their link. The new shows how many new people are linking. And here's the thing. I don't want to focus on the lost because anyone who stopped linking to Moz it's going to be tough to be like, hey, I know you see stop linking to my competition, so start linking to me. That pitch doesn't really work well. But the new ones, I could be like, all right, this site, this American Byte, this article, let's see what it is. Hummingbird barbecue tips. Probably not related because Moz more so talks about Hummingbird, the algorithm, which is a Google algorithm update. So that's an irrelevant link. Um, let's look for something that's more relevant. I'm scrolling down. Business Analytics 3.0, Moss. Other blogs. Business Analytics 3.0, name the top 50 big marketing blogs, best list of other analytics blogs. So I would actually go here and see if they included my blog. So I'm typing in Neil Patel in the find search box in my browser. And as you can see here, they don't link to it. So then what I would do is again, use hunter.io, find this person's email address for any of these sites and email them. So I would email uh, Practical Analytics and say, hey, Practical Analytics, I know you have this page and I'll link to that URL that breaks on all of the analytics blogs. Uh, you mentioned Moz and a few others, but I noticed you didn't include neilpatel.com. Here's some analytics posts on neilpatel.com that'll probably interest people. Feel free to add the site if you think it'll benefit your readers. It's that simple. And that link to Moz is a recent one, right? In which they recently added Moz from this practical analytics page because this is new and lost links based on the most recent date. Um, and then when you take this, because they recently linked to them, that means they've updated their site and they're recently willing to, or they'll be willing to link to you as well because they're constantly updating their site. If you look at really old data that's like two years old, it's irrelevant because if someone added links two years ago, it doesn't mean they're going to add links today. And I would just go through the list and do this for all my competitors, email them on how I'm a good fit and send a customized email. And over time, if you do this on a weekly basis, you don't have to do this daily, but just do weekly, you'll start building a lot of links. It really is that simple. And if you have more time, do this daily for 30 minutes a day or weekly for an hour. And over time, you'll notice that you'll build a lot of links and your rankings will increase. Now, if you have any questions on how you can build more links or how you can use this method, leave a comment below and I'll answer it. If you enjoyed this video, like it, share it, tell the people about it. If you want my team to just build links for you in an organic, nice, friendly Google White Hat way, like I just mentioned here, check out my ad agency, NP Digital. Um, and thank you very much for your time.